So very, very good morning to you today and welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycles. Today we're looking at this ride test for another customer. This is the Iska in blue. So just a quick look around the bike. As I said on numerous videos, lovely bronzing to the sides of these bikes. That's the rear shock, side peg plate and the side of the engine. Very, very easy access. Do like that low scoop that they have to the bottom of the engine, that wind deflector that they've got there. And then just going down the side of the bike, once again those nice carbon fibre looking panels, nice high exhaust and the bronze into the shock. Very easy to look at this and check your levels on the bike, so especially your rear brake fluid. This one does have a manual kickstart, so should you run the battery flat, you've got that manual kickstart option as well, which you don't find a lot on the 125 bikes. And then just a quick look down the top of the bike, at the front, You've got the nice daytime headlight on there, daytime running light, and that nice deep headlight to the bottom. Aesthetically, from the front, it does look very, very aggressive. Now, when I first did the first ride on one of these, first time out, wasn't a big lover of these tanks. I really like the tank on this because it does deflect the wind off the knee. So, Lexmoto come up with a really good idea of adding that extra little bit to the front of the tank. Now obviously with the assaults you've got the indicators on the end of the tank. With these on the Iskers you've got the indicators just up beside the headlights on this. LEDs all round apart from that front headlight. And you've got that nice stop light to the rear of the bike as well. Really good tyres on these as well. So they are better tyres than what we used to have a couple of years ago on the Lexmodos really have stepped up their game on these bikes so just a quick look at the bike mirrors nice and deep on these both sides and a nice view of the road to the rear right hand controls have the kill switch start button left hand controls you've got the hazard lights just to the back you've got the main beam dip beam indicators and the horn on this on your dashboard rev counter to the left fuel tank is built into the rev counter then you've got your miles per hour gear change indicator time and your total mileage. You can trip this over as well to trip mileage or you can have the odometer up as well. So if you click that over you can bring up the odometer on this and bring up your different mileages. So total at the moment 1.1 trip meter say in 1.1. This one does in miles and the other one does in points. Firing like the bike. No lights on at all which is all good. Levers have been set up for me. So absolutely bang on, dead level on both of those levers. Now what we do get uh, occasionally, these bikes do have a combined braking system. So we always check the front brake, make sure that the front brake is absolutely spot on. Sometimes we are required to bleed out the front brake just to make sure there is no air in that combined brake system. But this one was absolutely spot on as soon as we checked it out. So just up to me now to get out and get some test mileage on this bike for this customer he's due to pick up next week so up into fifth gear bringing the power on and as we always do sit at a nice steady 40 to about 42 mile an hour on this bike so just up to me today just to get the test mileage on it report back to the customer if the bike rides fine or if it doesn't ride fine and out of uh, I think it's 39 bikes we're on at the moment that we have done in just over 26 days now. So it's about three or four bikes per day that I am checking over, doing all the PDIs by my technicians, final QCs, and then ride testing with me. But so far, we've only had two issues, and they were things that we've picked up where the bikes have been delivered from the factory so we had one that had the bar end missing I've actually gone for a brand new set of handlebars and bar ends because they are knocking bar ends on that so rather than mess around trying to get that bar end out I've just ordered a brand new handlebar system and a complete set of bar ends quicker for me to change that out than it is to have a technician trying to fiddle around trying to change just the one bar end and then the only other couple that we had one had the uh, needed the required a brake brake bleed front brake wasn't uh, up to the performance that I wanted so we bled that out and that one was all good but most of the bikes from the factory absolutely spot on 
so we're doing very very well getting all these bikes up and prepped obviously they are taking us quite a bit of time normally we have seven members of staff in we're at three staff at the moment so we are doing basically two people's jobs at the moment so each technician is doing the work of two people so hence why we've got a big backlog on bikes and why we are taking 21 days to prep bikes instead of 14 we're not going to be cutting any corners putting bikes out any earlier just for the simple fact is I want every bike a hundred percent spot on before I send bikes out and obviously if you follow the uh, Facebook pages Lex Motor Owners UK or you happen to follow the garage you'll notice that I am doing a lot of bikes at the moment but uh, people have commented on the Lex Motor Owners UK page oh I've got my bike you know how long should I wait for a bike how long it can be any length of time according to what dealer you are getting that bike from some are doing it in about four to five days some are saying six days some are saying oh we can do it in 10 14 we're taking 21 we're doing a little bit longer but obviously if bikes are ready on time we are bringing those dates forward but i'd always say if you are buying a bike from a lexmoto dealer three simple things that you need to do <coughs> ask them what do i receive in my bike pack you should be receiving a black lexmoto folder with a printout of all the paperwork on your lexmoto bike so that'll be an introduction to lexmoto another sheet telling you about the servicing times a couple of uh, sheets of service records one that tells you about the basic routine maintenance of your bike how to look after your bike and then uh, you will have your handover sheets in there as well and you will should also get if they are registering the bike it'll be registered on Lex Moto so you will get an email to say this is your bike you've just been registered you've got an access then to go on to Lex Moto and hook into your page called my Lex Moto where you can check out all the warranties all the servicing on your bike but if they are registering the bike with DVSA then you should get a printout that shows you bike registered 55 pounds bike taxed 20 pounds with your registration number on it and your frame number and what the bike is we do that with every customer so they know that the bike is registered taxed and done um, we will also print a complete set of duplicate copies and get the customer to sign every duplicate copy for our records just to show that we've done an effective handover on that bike and then what we also do, we've got our own in-house one that uh, we get a customer to fill out that does say that you are going to adhere to the terms of Lexmoto's warranty. You understand all the warranty, it's been explained to you by the person handing the bike over. And on ours we also state, this bike must be ridden at 40 mile an hour for the first 500 kilometres, 311 miles, you agree to that bit. Seconds after that service, that you agree to keep the bike at 50 up to 1500 kilometers 932 and then after second service then you can go up to full speed so we will always explain that to you and then right at the bottom it says services are always chargeable you do not get a free service with any Lexmoto bike unless the dealer decides that he's going to do your first one for free and that you are responsible for your own breakdown and recovery service because obviously Lexmoto have now discontinued their recovery so it is up to you to make sure that you have adequate breakdown and recovery insurance on your motorcycle under no circumstances if a bike breaks down will we come out to you as we do sell all over the country so that is what we would get you to sign off on the Lexmoto paperwork so it's up to you to make sure that you read all your pack through and then you should be getting a second key and when they go to hand over the bike it shouldn't be just is your keys mate thank you very much on your way they should be telling you around talking you around the bike on every bike i don't care if you've been riding bikes for two weeks two days two years or 20 years i will always talk you around the bike say this is the throttle this is how you increase your power this is your kill switch this is your start button these are the indicators these are how you make the lights go up and down high beam low beam where's the horn 
this is where you check your oil level this is how you do your chain this is how you do a bolt check this is how you do your daily routine walk around of the bike and your daily maintenance so i'll always take about half an hour talk you around the bike tell you all about the bike and then ask you if you've got any questions that you want to ask me and i do get some really weird questions like how do i cancel the indicators yeah done that um what are my tire pressures a lot of people don't tell you the tire pressures for the bike so i will always explain you through the bike this is how you get under the rear seat what is under the rear seat this is how you get to your battery this is how you uh, check certain bits and pieces this is your toolkit for your bike so if you've got any questions always ask the dealer don't be afraid to ask and then the final one you should be asking what is the test mileage on the bike and obviously some dealers they'll put about six miles on a bike we put a full 20 on every bike that we do 20 miles 32 kilometers on every bike simple reason being I want to be on these bikes for about 45 minutes making sure that that this bike is going to be able to do a full run so if you're on the way to work you're taking about half an hour 45 minutes to go to work it's going to get there effectively it's not going to break down halfway now some dealers are obviously a couple of miles on the bike yeah that done bike runs all right bring it back that is when you're going to start getting problems guys so each dealer i can't comment as to what each dealer will do but i would always say make sure you've got a decent amount of test mileage on that bike don't let them give you the bike with 0.1 of a mile on the bike just that's going to have a quick bulk check it's not going to be ridden make sure that you get some test mileage on the bike ask them what their pdi procedure is obviously we're a little bit fussy we're a little bit finicky about what we do hence the reason why we don't get very many bikes back and uh, most of the bikes that do come back is where people have not obeyed the instructions of handover they've taken it straight out ragged it up to 63 oh forgot that i had to do it at 40. if you're not going to run a bike in that engine is not going to last you very long so that's some of the things that we do obviously we've just had the LXRs they were delivered yesterday so I've got four black LXRs in I've got another Assault Echo Plus is now with us and I've got another I believe eight bikes coming again next week so we've had eight delivered this week I've got another eight coming next week and another 12 the week after so we're going to be very very busy on bike builds but if you are interested in an Exmodo bike, give the team a call. Clips and motorcycles, you can find the guys on Facebook. Or give the garage a call, 01908 643 603. Nine times out of ten, you'll normally get me on the phone talking to you. But if not, you'll get one of the other members of the team. If you've got any questions at all, then feel free to uh, drop us some questions on Facebook. You can drop them onto my YouTube feed if you want. Ask me about the bike. And... Uh, I enjoy the constructive stuff people go oh you babble on a bit you babble on a bit i'm telling you all about the bike if you don't like how i do my vlogs go and watch another channel i really don't care i'm here to instruct new customers about their bikes and if you don't like uh, how i do my vlogs go and watch another channel it's as simple as that it's here for their purpose not for yours and then uh, i have a few people oh, we can't understand what you're saying never had a problem either buy yourself a decent laptop or get yourself a phone that's got a decent set of speakers most people can understand what i am saying and obviously i'm running drift ghost with an internal microphone built into the helmet a lot of people just go with the gopro on the outside and then you've got all the wind noise absolutely zero wind noise on mine but as i always say if you don't like how i do my videos go find another channel it really doesn't bother me in the slightest but most of the comments I get, people are like, watched a couple of your videos, buddy, and uh, really enjoyed them. Thank you very much. I've gone and bought myself a Titan, or I've bought myself an Assault, for, you know, from watching your videos. So thank you very much. If you have enjoyed the videos, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Don't really bother me. Um, obviously, comments at the bottom. Quite welcome to leave comments, but if you're just going to come on the page and just... Uh, Beret, oh, you sound like this, you sound like that. It's corporate spill. Then go find another channel. Really doesn't bother me. So, uh, currently seven miles in on this bike. We've got quite a bit more to put on, so I'm going to edit out here and we'll cut back in when I go back onto the urban route. 
and we'll do a little bit more around town so I'll catch up with you guys in just a minute so coming back off the dual carriageway route into the uh, urban route and we're just going to take this around town for a couple of miles just do the uh, final bit of the main ride test and then normally day before the ride the uh, day before customer picks up I'll do a final ride test just to make sure bikes still are all okay and that is when I'll give the approval to send the bike so we normally do uh, two lots of PDIs, two lots of QCs, two lots of ride testing double up on absolutely everything on every bike we do but just coming back into town and very very easy just to look down see what speed you're doing especially if you've got speed cameras around the mileage very very easy to see on this all the display on this absolutely perfect doesn't take you long to realize what is on the clocks where it is and just quick glance down I'm doing this the cornering on this is very very nice as well as with all the Lex motos and especially the low speed handling on this just feathering the clutch a little bit of uh, trail brake on the front wheel and it does handle very very well at low speed I've had a few people ask me what trail braking is don't try trail braking unless you are an experienced rider trail braking is basically going into the corners holding the brake and putting a percentage of brake on that front tyre as you come through the corner you're releasing the brake coming out the other side that is trail braking I tend to do it on both tyres but uh, obviously if you are a new rider stay off the brakes going round corners don't try and trail brake a bike especially if it's got combined braking system on it but I tend to use quite a bit of trail braking when I'm uh, dry roads going into corners especially on the bigger bikes I tend to use quite a lot of trail brake you can use your engine braking but trail braking is probably one of the better ones to use as I say if you are going to try trail braking check up the videos on it first and then the other thing I normally go on about is uh, looking through apexes, looking through those corners. So now I'm looking right past that building, is there anything coming? Never ever target fixate going into a corner, never ever look straight ahead. You're going to be looking left hand corner, as far around that corner as you can go. You'll be looking right out now, around that far corner. Especially on any corner, make sure you position yourself on the road according to the apex but obviously don't target fixate in front of you that is where you're going to lose it on corners guys always look through the corners position yourself correctly positions one two or three and you can pick a lot of this up from uh, the channel that i'm on as a member which is dan dan the fireman ddfm crew and we analyze motorcycle crashes what did they do wrong so just to show you right hand brake trail braking coming in a little bit of trail brake on i've got the power applied powering out and i am just releasing that brake so that is trail braking but be very very careful if you do that but it is a very very good tool if you're hitting the corner a little bit too hard just put a bit of trail brake on and come out the other side so DDFM crew, they're on YouTube, Dan Dan the Fireman, or just type in DDFM. And we analyse uh, motorcycle videos, motorcycle crashes, things like Moto Madness, uh, Moto Stars, all the big channels. Look at some of the videos, what should they have done? Side of a car coming from a junction, watching the mirrors, what is that car doing behind me that is right on my tail? Shoulder checking. Never ever trust your mirrors, always shoulder check watch both your mirrors I tend to bob my head around quite a lot because I'm constantly looking through apexes checking everything out but as I say if you enjoy my videos thumbs up hit the like and subscribe hit the notifications if you want to be notified of next videos coming up on the series all the bikers I follow they are at the bottom of every YouTube video 
social media out of the garage, Eclipse Motorcycles on Facebook, look for the two scooters, give the guys a call, 01908 643603. As I say, everything's on my website, revbomb.co.uk. First page going on the first page. Down the bottom of the first page is all the links to Eclipse, all the people that uh, I subscribe to, all my followers, all my sponsors are all on there. And then if you go to my social media page, links to Insta, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. But uh, this was Alex Motor Whisker for a customer. Hope you enjoyed the ride, guys. Till the next one, be well ride safe and until the next one is a big goodbye from me take care